A lot of videographers get stuck with either the high paying, boring corporate jobs or the low paying, creative jobs. Well, I'm here to help you understand why both are beneficial and more importantly, how to get the high paying creative jobs that we are all after. My name is Max O'Kane and I am a cinematographer and director and over the years I have done so many different projects spanning from heavy corporate work all the way to highly artistic fashion videos. And if there's one thing that I've learned it is that they are both equally as important for your videography career. And in this video I'll go over corporate work, creative work, how to find a balance and then how to create synergy between both. Number one is corporate work. We all know what this is. It is that video where you really thought, man, I don't wanna do this, but money is money. And that is fine, it's just part of the journey. We can't only do projects that we wanna do. However, there are a few benefits that corporate work provides. And one of those is teaching you how to develop a professional and polished look for your work. This is tough. I've probably spent more time trying to learn how to make things look clean than I have developing my own personal style. But that has taught me how to solve problems. This wall isn't white, but it needs to be. Well, you're the one who needs to fix it. So what do you do? You learn how to fix it. And that is so valuable because the next time that something is off, you will be so much faster in fixing it. And this brings me on to my second point, which is brand guidelines. Remember, with corporate work, you are shooting for them. You are not shooting for you. And that's a hard pill to swallow because we all want to be known for our work and our own personal style. But sometimes you need to just give them what they want, even if you don't love it. And this is absolutely huge for building a corporate portfolio because if you can take the vision of the client and help them achieve it, you're doing exactly what they need. And again, you are shooting for them, not for you. And this isn't me trying to say that you need to create stale and dead work, but it's just something to think about. Us as videographers, are the ones who need to make the decisions on how something should be shot or how it should be edited based on the structure of the brand. The last reason corporate work is so important is because it teaches you project and client management. This is one of those skills that you can't just learn on YouTube. The more clients you work with, the more you learn. Whether that is dealing with the issues of Dropbox or clients somehow finding and posting the log footage, corporate work is beneficial. And that boring video that you made will help you get to where you wanna be, I promise. But now let's talk about the fun stuff, the fun, creative projects. These are the ones where you develop your style. Most of the creative work we do is usually lower budget than the corporate work. And again, that's fine because with less money comes more creative freedom. And more creative freedom means more experimenting. When I do creative work, I always try to implement something new, whether that is a different lighting setup or a different use of my camera, because this is the time to try new things. There really isn't much to say here other than just make sure you are not staying comfortable in this aspect of work. I made a video recently on on how to master your creativity. And if you are struggling with being creative and finding your personal style, I highly recommend it. Earlier, I mentioned how corporate work you are shooting for them and not for yourself. Well, this is the other side of the sword. Shoot for you and not for them. Okay, well maybe shoot for them still, but mainly shoot for yourself. And I know that when I was starting out, it was very tough telling someone that I wanted to have creative control. And I feel like this is something that we all kind of struggle with because you know, you're new to the game and you just wanna take whatever you can get. And some advice I would give to any of you who are new or even experienced is to just make decisions based on your confidence. If you're doing a job and you just wanna have creative control just to have it, that could be a bad thing because you don't really know exactly what the best option is. And then on the other side of that, if someone is paying you less and you still wanna do the project because you're interested in the field or whatever the reason may be, let them know that you wanna be more involved in the creative process and that you are educated in it and that you understand what works and what doesn't. Shoot for you. Moving on to number three, balance. Why you should be doing both corporate work and creative projects. Well, number one is you'll gain such a diverse portfolio. And I know a lot of these tips come with caveats, but I want to make sure that I'm giving you the full story. And having a diverse portfolio is an amazing thing in the beginning. It shows that you are adaptable and that you can do lots of shoots of different things, which is very good. But the more you grow, the less valuable it becomes. Think about it like this. You own a clothing company and you want someone to shoot your content. And you find two people who are equally as good. One of them has a ton of different work on their page, music videos, fashion videos, real estate, corporate, whatever, then the other only has fashion videos on it. If it were me, I would probably choose the second one because even if they are identical quality, it looks like the second person is better because that's what they specialize in. This is one reason why I split my work sometimes. I have the corporate side of what I do and then I have this side where I can experiment and do whatever I want. And there are a few more benefits to doing both though. One of them is that corporate work really helps you develop a 
structured workflow and professionalism. And this comes in handy in all situations. If you pull up to even the lowest budget shoot and you can display professionalism or maybe even you created a shot list or you have every single thing organized, whatever it is, it shows that you know what you're doing. The other side of this is the creative work will help you enhance your corporate projects. You will learn your own styles for shooting and you will learn your own styles for choosing music. And then this leads me right into tip number four, synergy. The act of blending your corporate and your creative work together. The best part, there are so many reasons that I have already listed showing why each style is important and how they can benefit each other. The real question is why should you implement both of them into one? Well, for starters, it will help you stand out. I like to imagine the path of success as a grid and you need to take one step up and one step to the right. And the step up is the financial work that gets you paid. And the step to the right is the creative work that develops skill. You move along this path and you focus on up, right, up, right, you will get to a point where you are at the top. You have reached the top paying clients because you have reached the top level of creativity. And if you've seen any of my other videos, you know that I always mention this, but I made a video that explains the path to artistry, basically how to become successful in making art. And I seriously recommend you all watch this and it's boring and it's long, but I promise you will learn something from it. But again, you reach that top corner and you can charge clients more and be more selective of your work because there's no one like you. They want you because of the work that you create create and taking it back to a more current benefit, you'll become more versatile and adaptable. You can say yes to a corporate job and feel confident. You can say yes to a creative job and feel confident. And at the end of the day, that's all that really matters. You don't want to go into every single project feeling like you're going to fail. You want to know that you can make this person happy and help them achieve something that they cannot do. The very last thing is to embrace diversity. Remember, this is your dream. And if you aren't filming the exact thing that you want to, it just means you got to keep going and you will reach it. Don't just settle for having a career in videography or media. Get that career as a DP or director or whatever it is that you really want to do. But that is all. And if you want to see what I do, go check out this vlog of my week and it will definitely be a little bit more relaxing and fun than this. So yeah, thank you all for watching. And if you stayed until the end, I appreciate you so much, but please like, comment, subscribe. And I I will see you in the next vlog on Monday and then the next video on Tuesday. Also, I decided to do a wide shot for this and I forget how much I move my hands. So hopefully it wasn't distracting. And if it was, I'm sorry, I can't do anything about it. So thanks for watching.